drop it. Hello and welcome back to Just Add On Reviews. Today I'm going to do, um, well, it's going to be kind of simple, but yet in the same, it's uh, maybe be real helpful for some people that's uh, new and coming in and stuff. But um, at the end of this, I'll, I'll give you my, uh, I guess my opinion or uh, I guess tested. Yeah, te it's been tested. I, you know, for sure, definitely. Um, I used to stick to uh, one or two and. Uh, greatly due to uh, a recent uh, subscriber of mine, uh, I've been fortunate to try out a multitude of things, and not only just uh, you know like RDA and, and mods stuff like that, but uh, but cut, um, you know, and that's what today's going to be about. I'm going to try to do this real quick, but you know, with me, uh, real quick. Yeah, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Buckle up, sit down, and relax, or skip ahead to the good parts, whatever. And uh, so today, that's what we're going to do. I am bringing to you coffins from the U.S. to the other side of the world. So we got some coffins. Right there, the, the platinum native wicks. It came a long way, and of uh, the platinum blend, I, I used that. I've used that. I'd say almost two years religiously, and uh, then I jumped into the uh, the Muji and uh, the Ko Gendo. Have tried them. Have the you know tested stuff as well. Um, for, for those of you that's uh, kind of like me, if you're going through a bunch of stuff, uh, different, you know, days, you're, you're uh, maybe a DIY mixer as well, or you're trying to find that, that build in a new device, or an old device, you're trying to find the sweet spot, um, then you will probably, most likely, you'll, you'll want to uh, kind of branch out. Don't, don't, don't be just, you know, single-minded or whatever. You know, as far as it says made in USA, I'm, I, I can't say. I, I'll look it up later, fact check and all that, but maybe the bag is. I, I, you know, I don't know. I, I just, I honestly can't say. So uh, that, that's going to be you know, something I'll check into and maybe I can tell you, but I mean, like, it ain't like I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I can put that in the links because, well, YouTube's pricks. Let's just put it that way. So. All right, there. It's going to be the main attraction, in my 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 honest opinion. That is, this is worth it. That, that's worth it. So let's uh, we'll get in here just a little bit better. That way we can see all the uh, maybe the fibers and such. I'll show you. But first, um, 
Now, I'm going to go ahead and explain something to you. People, you know, some of you will care, some won't. Um, but uh, I, I'm going to tell you and I'm going to show you and I'm going to do it anyways for those that do care. So for the rest of you, uh, go watch something else. It don't bother me a bit. Because this is for the people that want to know and uh, that, that actually give a crap about what they are putting in their body. And uh, no glove, no love. And that's the way it's going to be on their cotton right here. Uh, I, I, I mean, yeah, sometimes you can't help it, but if you're at home and stuff, um, you know, I, I feel that a little bit of precautionary uh, measures, it's worth it, because it's, you know, it, it, it's your health, and we're already wanting, you know, we're any, it, concerned with anything, let me help you make a decision. So maybe from now on, you may be like, you know what, I'm not going to grab that uh, nice clean cotton, put it in my RDA with my old dirty grimy hands, because uh, you know what, he's got a good point. So now, from the rest of this book right here, I I'm going to have my gloves on. Uh, these are, you know, these are just, just what, what it is. They're clean, sterile, and uh, that's the way I keep my cotton. So. Uh, first up, let's let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's talk about this uh, one right here. Let's talk about the moochie. Now, this has one piece under here uh, from the Kogan Doe, and uh, it third the uh, what Muji, uh Kogan Doe, and uh, like puffs, and uh, you know, there's a few of them. Muji's probably going to be one of your best bets. Uh, if you if you're wanting quantity, this is for that everyday, uh, you know, everyday use. That it, person that changes out every day, uh, you know, they may go through a couple of builds, or if that's what you're doing, if you're a mixer and you're trying a bunch of different builds, then this right here is going to be your best bet. Uh, it, it's you know you, you keep you keep all your variables the same and nothing changes. So this allows you to uh, you know sit there and determine okay this build is going to be what you are looking for. So I don't touch my cotton unless I can have clean hands. So. This is, you know, if I'm going to sit here and pull out all my cotton, then it's going to be going into, uh, you know, my uh, device, which, of course, I'm not going to grab now because, well, let's think about that. We put our hands on everything, and we hold our device. And uh, when we go to grab that cotton, we're putting our grimy hands on there. That cotton absorbs that, and it goes into your RDA, RTPA, RTA, whatever, and uh, then into you. So... Some of you may be like, man, I've been getting sick and all that. Well, there's why, you know? I mean, it, it's pretty simple. So, for uh, that person that is trying a, a multiple build or uh, a different juices, doing flavor tests, this right here, you can't beat the Muji. It, it's got the set of flavor. There's hardly any break in time. It is like a couple of puffs, yeah, and then you're good. testing, I go to the Muji. It, it stays the same, doesn't change, uh, and and I can, I mean, I can go through sheet after sheet, and it's not an issue. You know, cotton don't cost that much, folks. So, you know, that right there is my number one choice for trying out new builds in a device and flavor testing on DIY mixing or a new juice, period. So, that right there 
allows me to keep my variables all the same. I have the constant of clean, straight, easy, caught, easy, done, out of the way. All right. So next, I'm nope. Next, I'm gonna talk about this right here. And uh, I like the good foil package. Uh, you know, on the Muji, it's kind of a little bit flimsy, but this is held up to pretty, you know, durable stuff. Take it out. Oh, uh, man. I got... If you have some extra battery cases, take your cotton out, clean your battery case, put it in there. Cut you some strips off, wad it up, whatever, put it in there. Done. Problem solved. So... Uh, this right here, we've got that white stuff, and I, I kind of want to do them side by side because now this and the, the the native wicks are pretty close to the same. But you know, like I said, I haven't checked up on this too much. But you know, here here's how it comes in in strips. Uh, some people like that, and it makes it easy and convenient. You know, like that one right there. I didn't use scissors on that one right there. I tore that off. You know, straight up, grabbed, grabbed one of these right here. I grabbed me a thread. Yeah, I, you know what? Maybe that's what they should go with. It's a, it's kind of like a cotton thread, but yes, I know, I know, wise guys, the, the cotton threads that are already taken and blah, blah, blah. But, like, basically this right here, this is kind of like your, your, uh, your Muji that's just been cut for you. That's basically all that is. A uh, little bit better quality, uh, durability, and everything. So, you know, there's what it looks like. The foil bag, pretty, you know, durable. But like I said, hey, you can fix that easily. And I don't care to grab all that cotton and get it out because my hands are clean, and uh, I'm, I'm not taking the a risk. So, like I said, this is that white stuff, and uh, that's why it's uh, the number two one. It's the number two up because it, it's it's really easy to do anything with. Judge by however, roll up the end, yeah, and if not, take it out, pull more off. So basically, this is kind of like your Muji and or native wick that's been cut. So we're gonna do the old-fashioned, old uh, you know, roll uh, hand rolled uh, job, and uh, that, there you go, you're done. No big deal. So, all right, back in the bag it goes, and that'd be that white stuff. As far as I can tell you, it's a Class A cotton. Uh, I think it's about six bucks, something like that, maybe, uh, for this one. I don't know. Google Foo it. You know, check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Research it. All right, next, we're going to go into the, the native wheat. Uh, as you can see, this bag, it, it's rough. It's in rough shape, but I tell you what, daggone it, it is held out. And uh, this is the first uh, bag, actual, you know, fit bag of cotton that I ever purchased. I've loved it ever since, and, and I have, and, and, and it's good. It's got that slight break-in time, comes like that. It'll put you in mind of, like, some of the, uh, it's not, to my knowledge, rayon fibers, but... What what it comes in a big old row and uh, you know our, that's down in there. Some more pieces cut off. If you you can see that, uh, you can tell. And it comes in a big old row and it's all rolled up. Looks kind of like a cinnamon row or something. Minus you know, well cinnamon and everything. <laughs> uh, somebody stole uh, Santa Claus's beard. They jerked it right off of him. Look at that. Oh yeah. Yep. So, for this, I, I, I use this in all, uh, all stuff that if I want it to, you know, it's going to be in there for a week or two longer, something like that, one one or two weeks, then I, I, go, I went to this. Uh, and like I said, at first, this is the only stuff that I used. I didn't need anything else. Um, I, I just, I didn't. Um, but now this has been cleaned and uh, it's, it's all... All the fibers, they're already straight. All you gotta do, rip and rip. That's all you gotta do, rip and rip. You don't really need scissors, but that 
is what I've got left. And this has done me for almost two years. Right at two years. That's what's left out of this sew bag. And this is the Platinum Blend. Platinum Blend. So, Native Wix. Uh, people have a uh, used the original Native Wix when it was in like the little puck looking uh, plastic container. And some people think, well, that's, you know, it's still that. And it, it was a handful. It, it was a hassle to sit and do uh, that. But this, they've upped their game tenfold right here. The, all the fibers are straight. Uh, it, it's just, it, it works. And it works really well. Uh, slight, slight break-in time. I mean, just a little bit of a break-in time. Other than that, you you, you could put that in there and, uh, you know, uh, on the dry burns and stuff, all, all these right here, they're probably not going to hold up very, very well, but this right here, um, it does darn good. And uh, like I said, this was five bucks. Uh, it lasted me two years, right at two years, uh, almost daily use. And I mean that, like, sincerely, almost daily. Uh, and that's, it's lasting. So, all right. Now, this right here, we got number four just in order but uh, this in my opinion um, I, I've heard the hype uh, I wasn't sure I know I always wanted to try it because everybody that did you know they're, they're I guess purist if you will and that this is what they raved about and uh, for good reason I mean this 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 has changed the way that I look and think about cotton uh, completely let's see yeah, there's, there's for anybody that can read that and actually understands what that says in Japanese. I'm guessing. Yeah, I, I can tell somewhat because, well, for one, Japanese, they always start, that's how their, you know, language and, uh, I know, I'm trying to think of the real smart word for it, but whatever. But that's how they write. That's how their literature uh, is, I suppose you could say. Is that uh, it's kind of like a picture, uh, and uh, it, it they read from top straight down. So uh, here you have it, uh, right there, as you can tell. I don't know. That might be that might be House of Cotton. Who knows? But uh, looks as if you have. Uh, two Bushido Warriors there going on it and this is a little bit bigger yep authentic you can see though let's see can I get the camera focused there we are oh there it is yep check it those of you that's got that QR stuff uh, quick reader there you are uh, uh oh too much there boom I got you so uh, on the back you're going to see some English and uh, you're, you're you know like it says right here it's it's 100 organic it's unbleached if I can get this to do properly you can pause this um, but you know anyhow you can read all this on the site you can get on there so I'll try to do my best there it is and you can kind of go back and forth with it and read it it is unbleached and that's what like I said it, it, it changed my outlook on it for sure changed my outlook here's all their other information and or you can check them out but uh, somebody had said something about the original Kendo um, I cannot speak on that behalf however uh, this right here that Kendo the gold edition vape cotton uh, yeah I, I, can, I can talk I can talk on this and this is a very you know kind of like uh, the, that white stuff is in but even thicker uh, more very durable pack uh, very, very very durable foil pack and so uh, I, I very well may order uh, a couple of these and uh, somebody's going to get it in a uh, a, a, a how do I, I don't know how to word it now, but uh, maybe I'll have a uh, super, uh, I'll have a waffle raffle drawing uh, of names, and someone will get this on a super cheap sale, like super sale, all right, and uh, 
also, I'm going to be doing a, uh, another show that's coming up uh, to be on this channel as well. And uh, I'm going to be giving out uh, daily deals. If I if I can find something and somebody's interested in it, I'm going to throw it out there. I'm going you know, to throw it and whoever wants to jump on it, get go for it. So this one is uh, kind of like the, uh, the native wicks in the sense that it comes in this big super massive uh, roll and, and, and it's, that's, that's how it's laid in here and just like that right there as you can tell so there is your kindo and let me show you how look there's that big it's a very thick foil and uh, it, it does really good now although the, the cotton looks bright Due to the sun glaring on it, um, but I'll show you. I'll show you the difference. This is not white. This is a. Uh, this is this right here. Go look it up, and you'll be like, whoa, that, that's like straight popping off the off the uh, So they took it through a process and they you know, straighten it out and run it through a machine. But see how it's darker right there and stuff because that's that's its true color. It's just that's that's what cotton. This is what cotton looks like when when it's picked and stuff. It ain't this big super bright white stuff that you you know you're seeing. Uh, it, it's not. So if I can do this really quick and yeah, I'm gonna put this back in here because I'll show. I mean, I just the reason why I'm wearing gloves is for what I told you a minute ago. But if you're someone that jumps ahead here just to see what you know what's going on and what's what, then all right, let me show you something. There is the Kindo. All right, I mean, even even the Muji, even the Muji is, is brighter and wider than than the Kindo is. So here's that white stuff. Let's get a little bit out where the light can hit it. And here is your Kindo. See that? Now you can tell that difference. Uh, I mean, Ray Charles just about be able to tell that difference. The super white and the beige kind of tint to it. This is what I consider real cotton because that's exactly what color it is. Almost a, a brownish, almost slight yellow tint to it. So, see how white, bright white that is? See that? And see how dull there ain't no shining parts on it it's just kind of dull dingy looking even some people are like, oh man hang on back back look this right here this is what real cotton looks like this is what it looks like go go do do like I said go look at the picture go check it out and then you come back and tell me tell me which one of these is you know looks like it ain't been bleached and and and, and looks like it is supposed to. You know, this looks like it's supposed to. Uh, I have nothing against any of the other ones. I've used them and I've not had any problems whatsoever uh, at all. So, you know, it's, but since this 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 changed this changed my outlook on cotton, and uh, that that was uh, all due to a uh, subscriber of mine, and uh, that that I greatly appreciate them for that. I, you know, I really I really do. So, like I said, let's let's do a quick little recap, and then we got to wrap this up because got other stuff to get done. And uh, this is going to be your daily banger right here. Daily, use that. You'll be switching out. Uh, that one, you you know that 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 right there, that white stuff. You can do the same thing with it makes it, it makes it easier um, you know go ahead cut some of the strips in half and then maybe if you you know got a real small one like a, the wasp or Poseidon or uh, the Haku or one of them the the real small you know uh, RDA the 22s and stuff like that uh, cut these in half and then maybe cut them again cut them in quarters to have you know little quarter piece strips um, I, I can't tell you what that would be in metric for all of you English folk and Europeans and 
everybody that, well, basically is an American, um, we use SAE. We do not use the metric system, so therefore I cannot tell you what the ratio would be. So, take a piece out, and you cut that piece right in the middle. That's what we would call half. And then you take that half piece that you've already cut, and then you cut it again right in the middle. Then you have two quarters, which is a half, so four quarters is a whole. It's kind of like a dollar, you know? All right, good. Glad I got that out there. Glad that everybody understands, and hopefully this will help you, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong. This, this right here has not failed me. It's been great in every aspect I've used it. Um, just a little bit more time to kind of do this or that with it, but it, this is ready to go right out the back. You pull it out, pull you know, pull it apart. What you think you need? Get a little more done. This right here, same thing. Strips, cut, cut all, cut, pre-cut your strips. Throw them in there. Take them in each you know container or whatever you bag, uh, you know, out the door. So there you have it. That is, uh, you know, hopefully this helps somebody, and uh, I, that that's the whole intent. But. Uh, I greatly appreciate it, uh, especially um, you know anything that is donated uh, to the to the channel um, for the purpose of the reviews and and, and you know whatever. I, I greatly appreciate all of it, and uh, thank you all for your uh, support. And uh, when, if I can get to that you know stage of where. I'm able to, uh, you know, have a reward system for like Patreons and such. I'll, I'll do it, but the way it is right now, I, I can't afford to pay attention. So let alone uh, pay the charge for uh, the Patreon and stuff like that. That's why I use PayPal. I, I don't have no other way to do it. So other than that, there it is. Let me get back a little bit. Maybe. Hold on. Now. There you have your cottons. And uh, keep in mind, when you're sitting there and you're uh, re-wicking, your hands need to be clean. That way your cotton stays clean. Don't reach in there now. Something that's really, really got under. Well, I mean, it just you know kind of gets under my skin. But it's them, and they do whatever they want. It's their body. All my cotton, it stays in its package. Now I've got one here somewhere. I'll throw it in here in a little bit. But I keep an assortment of cottons because each one is different. Like I said, this is right here is going to be your everyday. These two right here can be, uh, you know the RDAs and such, uh, not that much, you know, to, to do. Uh, slight break-ins right there, hardly no break-in. This has a bit of a break-in right here. This has got the longest, but when that, when it happens, you get just flavor explosion. You know, that, that first little bit, it's going to be, you know, off-putting or whatever. Um, I'll, I'll show you how, I'll, I'll show you my little trick of how to deal with that. And uh, up in the next coming up video is going to be for beginners as well. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give um, my opinion on uh, what stuff is going to be useful, what you'll need, other stuff that don't worry about. So that's all I got for you today, folks. So uh, let's uh, jump back up top and uh, There you have it. That's that's what I got for you. Um, take it with a grain of salt, if you know, or however you see it. Uh, that right there has opened my eyes. Uh, that right there, it, it's good straight up clean stuff, just like I showed you and told you. And that's my double trouble pack right there. I I, I, I mean, literally, um, fold it up, put one down into that, keep it in the same bag. Always have cotton, and I throw it into different bags and whatever. Uh, you know, your bait bag, your emergency, you know, grab and go kit, little bug out bag, if you want to. Um, in here, let's see what I put in it. Oh yeah, uh, in the uh, the goat. Um, I've been running the uh, that white stuff in the goat quite a bit. Uh, at first, I did the uh, the kendo, but now, like I said, it's a little more expensive, but it's a uh, 
it, I like it. It's pretty good. It's, it's really good. I, I mean, it's really good. So, um, that's why I think it's going to be helpful for some people. With the taste. You'll, you'll notice the difference in the taste. And, uh, like I said on that, that's, that's, that's more of like a daily change thing. You know, daily change. Uh, RTAs. Uh, or do TAs, you know, old school stuff. Uh, you can't go wrong with that, and or or that right there. You know, uh, this has a slight break in time, but you won't get that taste. And like I said a minute ago, this right here had probably the most noticeable, somewhat offensive taste. Um, but when you get past that break in, I mean, it's worth every penny. It, it's worth it if it costs you twenty dollars. It's worth it because whatever you find out and you get a juice, you get your all-day bait and you throw it in something, you, you're not going to be changing it for a while. Uh, the other video I released, it, it, right there, I had that in the rebirth for a month at least. Yeah. Yeah. And it, I, I could have went probably another month on it. Daily use. Daily. Daily use. In the, uh, the rebirth and the recurve setup that... Uh, double trouble kind of setup, but yeah, now it works for me, and uh, hopefully you can, you know, find something that works for you, because what we all have to remember is that taste is subjective. It varies from person to person. What I may taste on this, you may not. What I may miss out on, on, on this, you may get, uh, you know, some chemical taste or something, but keep in mind, when uh, you know, you're going for certain cottons, uh, that always bleached out looking white, white cotton. Do yourself a favor. Google food. Get that going and look what cotton looks like in the field. Just, just, yeah, check it out for yourself. Then you may be like, well, you know something? I think I'll go a different route. Uh, so, that, the option. They're there. Some are uh, more expensive than others. Others are worth it, and some well, I don't. I don't think that they are. You can get one that just does just as good, holds up pretty good, and all that. So, as I described, you decide. So that'll do it. And uh, I, I thank you for stopping in, and joining me, and uh, as always, my subscribers that have been with me from the first. I, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. It truly means a lot to me. As I said in my other video, some of you may not have caught it. Um, if there is a particular something that you want reviewed and you possibly want my take on it, send it to me. I'll try it. I'll send it back to you. And that way, you'll have my opinion on it. it may not count for much. Some people, but others seem to care. So, uh, you know what time it is. Have us a look. Toot. Let's get on out of here. Thanks. Once again.